you have joined me on the Curtis Zone, and I do nothing but thank you. I am your humble and handsome host, Dylan J. Curtis, and we have are here with another How Powerful Would Someone Be episode. We here on the Curtis Zone have asked ourselves, how powerful would Damian Wayne be if he had Max Steele's powers, Dr. Doom's intellect, and the matrix of leadership? Now, for those of you who do not know how these How Powerful Would Someone Be episodes work, I give you the stats of the character. I give you the stats of all three powers that they're going to use, and then you, the viewer, leave in the comment section down below how powerful you think the character would be if they had all this stuff combined to their own power. And as always, remember to hit that like and subscribe button for more content from the Curtis Zones. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to make a request or a hit for any episode period, leave it in the comment section down below. But as always, we start with some news here on the Curtis Zone. And here's the first piece of news from the Curtis Zone itself. You will not be seeing me next week. I'll be going on a, on a very much needed vacation. So don't look out for any episodes. The next piece of news is from the world of Marvel. It has been announced that Captain America 4, which will star Anthony Mackie, has been renamed yet again from Captain America New World Order to Captain America World War Hulk. Now, I hope that name is not set in stone, but it's looking like Anthony Mackie is okay with it. So, let's give him a minute. The final piece of news we're going to talk about is I hope that everybody has seen the, uh, the gameplay trailer for Mortal Kombat 1. We saw Kenji, Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Raiden, Fire God Liu Kang. We saw Scorpion. We saw Sub-Zero, Katana, Melina. We hope that's not every one that's going to be appearing. So, if you haven't seen it, seen it. If you're gonna buy the game, buy the game. Now, let's talk about this How Powerful Would Someone Be episode, all right? Let's talk about how powerful Damian Wayne would be. But before I give you guys his stats, I wanna give you guys a little quick origin on Damian Wayne. And remember, like and subscribe. First thing you need to know about Damian Wayne is that he's the son of Talia Al Ghul and Bruce Wayne. Talia drugged Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, into conceiving her a child, but if you think that she's gonna carry a baby for nine months, you're crazy. He was artificially grown in an incubator pod, and when he was born, he was trained to be the perfect assassin. He was trained from birth how to be an assassin for his grandfather's organization, his grandfather being Ra's al Ghul, and being the League of Assassins, Ra's al Ghul. Yes, he's that Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne once asked his mother, when can he meet his father? And she said, you can meet him, my son, when you defeat me in combat. 10 years later, he was able to defeat his mother. And because of that, Damian was allowed to meet his father, Bruce Wayne, AKA Batman. Talia once captured Batman, but but with the help of the man bats. And she said, I've allowed you ignored responsibility for too long, my love. It's time for you to meet your son. And then Damien says, Father, I imagined you taller. As far as powers go, Damien Wayne is considered to be the most skilled out of all the Robins. This is due to the fact that he was trained to be a ninja assassin by the League of Assassins. He's so good at martial arts that his skills rival that of Batman and Deathstroke. He also has a bit of a high pain tolerance due to the fact that his mother trained him to do so. Also, he also has the ability to mimic other people's voices, which is a very power useful skill if you ask me. Dr. Doom's intellect is rival to that of only Reed Richards. Now, Dr. Doom is so smart that he was one of He's the only person who's able to perform surgery on the Incredible Hulk, removing the Bruce Banner part of his persona. Also, Dr. Doom is so smart that he once mastered sorcery faster than anyone who ever in the world. This includes Dr. Strange while he was being tutored by Dr. Strange, no less. Dr. Doom also rebuilt and reprogrammed the amazing Ultron after Galactus subjugated the entire planet. He then used Ultron to single-handedly take out Absorbing Man, Doc Ock, Wrecker, and, a, and Molecular Man just so he could have 
form his own secret alliance. This is incredible. Doctor Doom's intellect is impressive, which is why he's one of my favorite villains in the Marvel Universe. Doom is in fact so smart that in the Thor comic books and in Marvel Ultimate Alliance, the first one that is, he once took control of the Odin Force and he once used the Odin Force to reprogram the Destroyer to smack Thor around like he was a rag doll, which was an impressive feat of magic if you ask me. Max Steel was born with a nearly limitless form of energy inside of his body called Turbo Energy. The Turbo Energy inside of his body has the power of a tactical nuke. However, it's more natural and cleaner than a tactical nuke. It also gives him the ability, with Steel that is, to create all sorts of Turbo Modes. Each Turbo Mode is different. You have Turbo Strength, Speed, Flight, Scuba, Sonic, Spike, Rocket, in cannonball mode. Basically, Max Steel is a powerhouse with all sorts of different butt kicking machines inside of his body. The Matrix of Leadership is among the most powerful weapons in all of animated television. This is due to the fact that one of its ab abilities that it has is to give you strength, speed, intellect, and even the power of the original 13 primes. So yeah, it is pretty powerful. However, the only way to be, to use the Matrix of Leadership is that you have to be a prime or be selected to become a prime, which is why it was given to Orion Pax, because he was trained by a prime. So yeah, I recommend giving this to Damian Wayne. And just like that, another episode of The Curtis Zone comes to its close, everybody. Now, don't be shy. Leave in the comment section down below how powerful you think Damian Wayne would be if he had all this stuff combined with all of his power, okay? Look, he was trained by the League of Assassins, so don't, don't be afraid. Get in there, dig deep, guys. Also, remember, hashtag Restore the Snyderverse is still our official sponsor. So comment, like, meme, whatever. We want the Snyderverse back, okay? People want the Snyderverse back. So if you guys have anything else, questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to make a request for an episode, leave it in the comment section down below. And as always, I, your humble and handsome host, will be back here with a big smile and his bouncing back.